This is Mr. Wynn again, continuing on from that last video, so part two of video two. All right, so imaginary numbers can go with real numbers. For example, it should form A plus BI, where A and B are real numbers, and I is the imaginary part. We have a real part, which is the thing without I, usually it's A, and we have an imaginary part, which is BI. When we have both parts together, we call that a complex number. So here, five minus two I is complex. Here's the real part, and here's the imaginary part. All right, so all the math you know still works with imaginaries, so you still add, subtract, multiply, divide, distribute like normal, but make sure you fix any i's with the exponents. Again, i cannot have an exponent in your final answer. And we have this list for, again, i squared is negative one, that's the main fact. So when adding and subtracting, same thing as the operation with polynomials, determine the parentheses matter. Again, it only matters if there's an exponent outside the parentheses, or a number or negative sign in front of you to distribute. So this first one, I do not distribute at all. It stays the same inside. We have to distribute this negative two to both of these. So that's gonna be a negative 10 minus six i. I combine like terms, but for i, we want i last. We want the real part first. So the non-i thing, four minus 10, that's negative six, and the i part second. Negative two i minus six i is negative eight i. That's the answer. i does not have an exponent, so we're good. I do wanna show you that the calculator can do this if you have a calculator, which on certain tests you can. So, I'm going to write parentheses, 4 minus 2, i is second period, close parentheses, minus 2, parentheses, 5 plus 3, second parentheses, uh, period. And it gives me negative 6 minus 8i, same answer I got. All right, so that's the same thing for adding and subtracting. Then we move on to multiplying, like before. We distribute every term in the first parentheses, every term in the second parentheses. We still use the FOIL technique. Just again, be very careful. Fix i when it has an exponent. So here it's two things. I'm two things. I'm a FOIL. So the first terms, 3 times 6, that's 18. The outside terms, 3 times positive 2i makes positive 6i. The inside terms, negative 7i times positive 6 is negative 42i. The last terms, negative 7i times positive 2i, well, that's negative 14i squared. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave uh, the middle. I'll even combine it and save some time. But you have to fix i squared right here. i squared has to turn into negative 1. So really, that last term, negative 14 times negative 1 is positive. It's really a plus 14. So i squared changes the sign of the thing in front of it. Now I'm going to combine my final answer. So 18 plus 14, that's 32. Positive 6i minus 42i, that's negative 36i. That's the answer. Again, the calculator can do this for you. So let's see it in action. Um, parentheses, 3 minus 7, second period. Other parentheses, 6 plus 2, second period. And we get 32 minus 36i. All right, two more slides. Division. I, I has one more rule. Remember, I cannot have an exponent in your final answer, but I can also not be in the denominator. If you see it there, we need to do something called rationalize the denominator. All you have to do is multiply by the conjugate, which is, in this case, a complex conjugate. The conjugate in general is always going to be the denominator, but change the sign in the middle. So if A plus BI on one side, you need A minus BI. Um, this will involve foiling, but if you change the sign in the middle, the two terms in the middle after foil, the O and I, should always cancel out. So here's a quick example with letters. I'll do a problem to make more sense. And this is the exact same thing for roots, for radicals. So again, you can't have I in the denominator, you also can't have radical. So because I have a 2 plus square root 7 on bottom, I'm going to multiply by 2 minus square root 7. If you foil, you'll get that and it reduces. So here's two me doing two problems. So this is rationalized the following. So I cannot be the denominator, so I'm going to multiply this by the conjugate. The conjugate here is going to be 4 plus i. All right, and if it helps you put parentheses, you can. All right, so let me just do the top first. Uh, it's just 3. I'm going to choose 3 to both of these. So that would be a 12 plus 3i. And I'm about to foil this. So f, 4 times 4 is 16. Oh, outsides, that's positive 4i. Insides, negative i times positive 4 is negative 4i. 
and then last negative i times positive i is negative i squared. Well, if you combine positive four i minus four i, those cancel out. Again, when you multiply the conjugate, the middle terms, the o and i, always cancel out. I also have to fix i squared, so let me do it in this next step. So the top is 12 plus 3i. On the bottom, we have 16. Now, when you say minus i squared, that's really minus negative 1, which means you're adding, really. So this turns into 12 plus 3i over 16 plus 1 is 17. Now, there's no more i in the denominator. By the way, the calculator cannot do this for you, so if you type in the calculator, it will give you error. It doesn't know what to do. It cannot conjugate. All right, same for down here. We have to conjugate this. I can have i on the bottom. I'll multiply the complex conjugate. So leave the bottom exactly the same, just change the sign. Instead of a plus 3i, it's a minus 3i. Same on top and bottom. We're going to have to FOIL, so I'll put some parentheses here. And this one has FOILing both on top and bottom, that's okay. So let's do the top. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times negative 3i is negative 9i. Inside i times 2 is positive 2i. Last i times nave 3i is nave 3i squared. All over and for the bottom, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times nave 3i is nave 6i. 3i times 2 is positive 6i. And 3 times 3i is negative 9i squared. I can start combining. Uh, nave 6i plus 6i cancel out, which is supposed to. On top, let's see, this is 6. I'm going to combine this now, just get out of the way. Nave 9 plus 2 is nave 7i. We have fixed i squared. So this is really minus 3 times negative 1, meaning a positive 3. On the bottom, I have 4. I have fixed i squared. So that's really negative 9 times negative 1. All right, so let me do it like this. So this is 6 minus 7i plus 3, which I'm, I still got to combine. Bottom is 4 plus 9. So final answer down here, 6 plus 3 is 9 on top of my 7i, on the bottom 4 plus 9 is 13. Again, final answer has no i on bottom, which is good. Alright, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you ask questions in class. See you soon. Bye.